Hey guys and welcome back. So today's video is going to be all about suits. A lot of you guys have asked me to talk about my suit collection, how I like to style suits, how to feel more confident, ways to wear them, what to wear them with, and this year for me is all about the suits. I'll be honest, I've always loved tailoring, I've always loved to feel quite confident and powerful in what I wear, and I get that feeling whenever I wear different type of suits. So I started to collect a few different variations in my wardrobe over the years, so I thought I'd find put this video together for you guys. So let's just take this back to the bare bones of what exactly is a suit. So a suit is made up of two pieces of clothing, often either a jacket and trousers or a jacket and a skirt. Two pieces of clothing that are cut from the same piece of material, same fabric, so that they match and you can wear them together as a pair. I must be honest though, there's a few things in here that I want to show you that I don't think necessarily fall into that category and I honestly don't think that you necessarily have to wear the same material together to get a full suit feel although a proper suit is made up of the same fabric but I think you can kind of get a very cool formal tailored look even if you don't have the same matching pieces but I'll go into more detail with that a little bit later I'm gonna kick this off with the first suit which is this one here this is in a Prince of Wales check it's one of the newest suits into my wardrobe my collection I was part of the Prince of Wales check for quite a while it became really popular last season and I really wasn't kind of feeling it until I saw this one and it was because of this sort of injection of red that is what really pulled me into loving this. Just that little injection of colour made it a little bit more fun and also more edgy, added a more modern twist to this otherwise quite traditional patterning. Plus, it's also very modern with this cool red stripe down each side of the blazer, which also transitions into the trousers, which have a duo stripe on them, as well as the same red striping going through the check. The reason I really like this as well is because the blazer is actually a little bit more oversized, again, creating more of an androgynous, more masculine vibe to this, which I really do love wearing something a bit more androgynous sometimes, because I feel that with a pair of heels, you can really give that very cool confidence, I guess. I really like that juxtaposition of styles. So I'm a big big fan of this. Of course I will leave links down below to everything I show you here plus some duplicates if I can find some in the market for you. Now for a suit like that I love to wear it with roll necks especially. So this is the kind of thing that I've worn with it before. If you can see it's quite sheer here. It goes through with a very gorgeous patterning. I would then wear a lacy bra or a bra like I'm wearing here. I'm wearing my Christian Dior Bandau bra here and I love to wear that underneath that because you just see a little bit of bra strap, a little bit of detail from the bra just poking through you get that very slick vibe from it but a little bit more for the eyes to feast on with this patterning going through however if you didn't really want to match the patterning of the top with the pattern of the suit something super easy just like a cashmere or wool or even a cotton roll neck or a bodysuit something quite smooth and slick and you can tuck it in especially if you're wearing a bodysuit it'll be very pulled in and very flattering and then if you wear the more oversized blazer over the top you know it kind of makes up the two styles I really really like that yeah so just to have a roll neck black top in your wardrobe is honestly like a super staple piece I think for me. I would definitely wear this to the office, I would wear this to meetings, I would even go as far as wearing this even to date nights if I had some gorgeous little shoes in a cute bag to make it a little bit more glam and glitzy. In terms of accessories with that I would personally go with a red shoe. Red to match with the red in the suit. It was kind of a bit of a no-brainer for me, I like to match my accessories to something in my outfit. So something like these were gorgeous, the very pointed toe I find works well with blazer and more masculine styles because it just adds that feminine touch so you make something masculine with the more feminine pretty quite sexy powerful woman style how many other adjectives do I want in there I don't think you can go wrong with a pair of Converse or white trainers and I think that with a lot of these suits you could just pair them with a pair of white Converse something kind of low and cool or a pair of white like Adidas trainers and it'll just add a very different style to this. A lot of girls pull this look off really really well, I know a lot of bloggers do but for example this with the white Converse would look super cool, very dressed down, chic, very stylish. Okay suit number two. It's more of a curveball, it's that very bright, bold, exciting statement suit. Not everyone would like a red suit, but I love it, I love it. I felt so powerful when I wore this, I felt really gorgeous and confident. It's the kind of suit that I would wear to more formal 
events I'd say. So whether that's a special dinner, special drinks with clients or you know something where you need to impress, you need to look your most powerful but also show you've got a little bit of personality, you like to rock a suit but you also like a bit of colour. That's the kind of vibe to go for with that I think. Now that was actually as well really affordable. If it's still on sale and still in stock I'll link it. If not I'll try and find some alternatives but this suit overall was about £90 for the set absolutely amazing. I mean there's a multitude of things you could wear with this, you could just go for a bra underneath it or you could go for a roll neck, like I've said before the black would work very very easily with this. However I wore it with a cami. I think camis are like the perfect clothing accessory to wear with blazers especially. This one is very silky, it feels quite pretty and feminine, it's got that very slinky pretty touch to it in this fabric and that little bit extra colour as well. I love blue and red together, I think it's a very pretty colour combo. You could go for a white cami even, you could go for black like I said, but just adding a little bit of skin it does look really gorgeous under a blazer. I don't think you can go wrong with a pair of nude heels with any kind of suit in any colour. Nude goes with everything. Almond so works absolutely fine if you're more comfortable in that. But I personally really like pointed toes, but I don't think you can go wrong. I think a nude pair of heels are an absolute staple. Now this suit is a little different in that it's sleeveless and this blazer is quite long length as well. But it is a matching set. It's cut from the same cloth to get this matching set and these are both from Pinko. But I love it for the fact that it is sleeveless. It's very different to everything else I have in my wardrobe. And for me, for this, I would keep your arms completely bare. I would go with a camisole or I'd go with a sleeveless bodysuit underneath in either a white or a black. You could even go for colour if you want to, you can go for anything you like, but I would definitely keep my arms completely free of any clothing. Say if you wanted to wear like a long sleeve top for example, I would go for sleeveless. And it adds that more femininity of being able to see your kind of slender arms coming out of the blazer as well. This isn't a full black so you could go with any coloured top for this. Something like this I love to wear it with. Completely sleeveless, inserts a little bit of colour. This detailing around the neck, the ruffle of this, breaks up the very monochrome, straight, sleek look of the suit. So that worked really well. And again, it's just nice to have a bit of colour involved as well. In fact, there's a top coming out very similar to this from Me and M, and it's amazing and will look amazing with that suit. And I know a lot of you guys aren't really into heels like I am, so something like the Sophia Webster butterfly shoes would be something that I would wear with this. Something flat, but also in a colour that kind of matches with it. The fact that the blazer is completely black means that you can kind of go all out with a bit of pattern on the shoes if you want to, so the butterflies aren't too much having that gold thread running through it. But there's something quite elegant about these shoes still. They've got a gorgeous style to them. They're not too dressed down. So I think it still works, but at the same time they are flat. And I must admit, these are one of the comfiest pairs of flat shoes I own. I don't own many because I find that they just really rub my ankles. These are great if you are thinking of investing. Okay, next on the list is a white suit. Now this is one I have from Reese. The fact that it has no lapels on this and it's got this very smooth and slinky look to it, again, I think adds more femininity into this blazer. And it's very long length, it's got almost an overcoat blazer style to it, which again I really like. It looks gorgeous, just hung over the shoulders. So you, again, you don't have to necessarily wear this with the wide trousers, you could wear this with so many other things, even just over jeans, as like an overcoat blazer would look super pretty. It's, I'm just looking at the mirror and I just love it, why have I not worn this more? But at the same time there's something very formal, very elegant and very sophisticated about this whole blazer style. This was just from Reese, we often have things like this in quite often and I'm sure they'll be bringing out another one for spring as well. But with that, I wore this. This is, I think this is cashmere and it's kind of like a wool blend neutral mauve roll neck. It worked quite well, I just tucked it into the trousers to pull it all together and keep that very flattering shape to the body. The roll neck helped to elongate the neck, a very smooth cut of the blazer. It just looked really pretty, I really liked it together. Again, this is just another idea of what you could wear underneath your blazers as well, but I thought it worked quite well for that one. Now, as I was saying earlier, as I don't believe necessarily that you always have to have a matching pair. In fact, right now I'm wearing a Balmain blazer, a pair of Me and M trousers. They don't match, they're not come as a set, but I I love the way that they look together and paired together. This is a very structured blazer, very formal, very elegant style to it. The trousers have a more sports looks feel to them. They have stripes down both sides, it's quite kind of reflective white, you know, it kind of mixes up the two styles, but I really really like that. And underneath I've added my Christian Dior bra under this, which is one way I really like to wear it, but again just a camisole or even a roll neck works really well. So you don't necessarily always have to wear matching blazer and trousers. I don't think so whatsoever. I often wear this Balmain blazer with leather trousers, jeans and skirts. 
you can just mix up the way you like. Which is why I bought this recently, as, as you guys have seen quite often now. The Stella McCartney Pink Blazer. I did look for the matching trousers, but they didn't have them. I don't know if it's ever come with matching trousers. But again, I just love wearing blazers on their own. I just wanted to pull this out for you guys who do like the idea of a suit, haven't invested yet, but just want to try out the style for yourself. I would maybe go for a blazer first and foremost rather than jumping straight into a full two-piece suit. Go for a blazer, try it out, see how you feel wearing it with your favourite jeans or your favourite leather trousers, with a white tee, with a roll neck, you know, mix it up with your usual style, throw it on, you might find that you absolutely love it. Like I said, white t-shirts work so well under any blazer, I could have worn this under here, any of these blazers I could have worn this white tee with, or something a bit different, a lovely round neck jumper, again works really well. It's not too baggy and oversized, so it feels quite fitted and quite smooth. This one has this lovely embellishment at the top, but with the firework patterns going off. This is Ted Baker. The fabric of this is quite smooth and wool-like, again quite a sophisticated style of fabric, but tucked in to trousers, then with a the blazer over the top. Just a really nice way to wear it again. These are an absolute favourite for me to wear with suits. The structure of these quite often can work really well with the structure of the suits. And again, it's quite a powerful looking heel, so it works really well. Okay, so this suit is probably one of my absolute favourites. It's a full matching suit from Heavy Studio, the Heavy suit. It's cut from exactly the same fabric and cloth and it has this transition of this red colour going through into the trousers. So the trousers have a full stripe down each side and this has a piping around the edges. They very much complement each other and I love the red with the blue, I think it's super pretty. But this is just very fitted. Some of these suits are a little bit more oversized, some of them are longer length, some are sleeveless. This is very much that fitted suit. I have worn this before with this bra just underneath it, with it buttoned up. I feel so confident in that look, I absolutely love it overall. But I've also worn this with a white t-shirt, like this. Very easy, just tucked into the trousers to pull everything together. And again, a roll neck would work just as well. But this is one of my absolute favourites. I love the fact that it comes with a little pocket square in the pocket. It's super cute. And in fact, I might buy some more little pocket squares to put in there. And it's also got a really amazing smoking suit vibe to the cut and the style as well, which is why I really like it. Say if I'm taking my suit from day to night, maybe I've worn it in the office and I'm going out. Something like these, like silver aquazura heels. You won't necessarily see this tying around your leg because of the trousers, but you will see this silvery, sparkly toe, which I think just makes it a little bit more fun. And like I said, a bit more glitzy. So those were all the suits in my wardrobe that are my absolute favourite right now. I kind of wanted to give you an idea of a few different styles, some in colour, some in pattern, some in, you know, different styles, to mix it up a little bit and hopefully give you a bit of inspiration. I hope that's helped you guys that have been asking for it. As I said, all of the suits are, all of the accessories and everything else are linked down below. If not, there'll be a duplicate there for it. Huge thank you for watching this. If you're brand new here, it would be amazing if you subscribed. Just click my face on the screen to subscribe. I make three videos a week. I'd love to have you back. But to everyone else, thank you so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.